so I am making this video to, I guess, educate people who really have no clue how YouTube works. So I had a comment on one of my videos. I, I play Sims, and so I did a video where my Sims poodles had had puppies. And so someone was like, oh, well, people like kids are going to think they kiss, and that's how they have puppies. And I'm like, okay. I just deleted that comment. It was like, that's not even worthy of a response. I thought, well, you know what? Maybe people have no idea. So that was a channel that did not have any content, doesn't upload videos. I thought, okay, I'm going to be nice here. They probably have no idea how YouTube works. So first of all, I'm an adult channel. I do not make content for kids. What that means is that when you, this is the video where Here's just one to show you an example. Right here it says, is this made for kids? Yes. No. So there's personalized things for kids. Now, I have full expectation that adults who have children will be monitoring what their children watch on YouTube, especially in the light of the fact that YouTube has content just for children, literally. So that's why they have those features when you're uploading videos. When you upload a video, they ask you questions about the content of your video. And they want to know if there's anything in it, like does it have kids in it, for one? Is it content made for kids? Because they're going to put in the feed for children things that are family friendly for children. Things that are designed for them. That's what's going to show up in their feed. It says, our library is filled with family-friendly videos on all different topics and nine year children's inner creativity and playfulness. Okay? And so that's why they ask those questions of content creators about whether or not it's made for kids. And based on, you know, now I know there may be possibility that, like for example, like Roblox. Roblox is pretty much all ages now. But when it first started out, it was pretty much kids. But there's a lot of really large, all of your large gaming channels of Robloxians are all mostly adults. And any minor gamers are set up through their uh, parents. Because when that's why you'll see when you go to a video, there's comments not allowed. That's because that's a child's account. So when a child has an account on YouTube, Basically, it's set up as a child's account, meaning they know the age of the account holder and they do not allow comments on that channel because they're, you know, they're a child. So they have specific videos in their feed. So if children are seeing my videos, it's because parents are not monitoring them or for somehow or another they're using somebody else's account. So it has specific, you know, how to turn you know, how to set your account. There's all kinds of, you know, if anybody has questions, how to, you know, what is not allowed on YouTube kids? How do I turn off 18 plus on YouTube? How do I, so all of these settings, okay, and parents can monitor, they can go in and look to make sure their kids aren't, you know, sneaking around and, and bypassing the settings for YouTube that's for kids. Um, parental control and settings for YouTube Kid Profiles. Only videos viewed in YouTube Kids on the device will show up and watch it again. So they have their videos and then adults have theirs. That's how it's supposed to be. Now granted, I know that especially with Roblox, I know there's a lot of kids who are, you know, whatever. But bottom line is um, I don't make content for children. Okay, uh, you know, in the gaming world or the possibility that the kids are seeing my videos, well, that's on the parents. They need to be, if I had, I would be a helicopter mom if I had kids, I'm telling you right now. They would not be on on the internet watching whatever they want, okay? Yes, I, I would be tracking their whatever. <laughs> so, I don't even give it a second thought of what kids would think about Sims and how they, in a very clean and sweet and very, 
you know, sweet way they show dogs when they, like, have these little hearts that float around them when they're, that's how they breed, okay, um, and I think that's really sweet, <laughs> and I'm not interested in, it's just a sweet little gameplay way that they, they, um, here, I'll show you. So this is the video. See these hearts? That's so sweet. This is this is how they, you know, get impregnated on the Sims. And I again, I don't give it a second thought. I don't have any concern about what kids might think about dogs and how they get pregnant. That's not my concern. That is parents, that's their job to teach them and it is their job to make sure that they're not sneaking around and bypassing the settings for YouTube. My content is for adults. Well, technically teens. Teens and adults. And I know teens know what's happening in the world. <laughs> and so it's just so sweet. So this is how Peachy here got pregnant by Freddy. And they had puppies. It is just so sweet. And yeah, it's so adorable. And I think it's really <laughs> sweet that the way that the Sims developers <laughs> did that is just adorable. But Sims is, it's an adult game. They don't, like, have any little kid versions of Sims. It's, you know, anyways, it's it's an adult game. But anywho, um, I think it's very adorable, and I just really, I really like this game. And, of course, all my episodes are family-friendly, um, so I try to keep it that way. But I I thought, you know, if if parents don't have any idea how YouTube actually works... I think it's worthy of a video just so that they can know that, by the way, there are very specific settings for your child's account, but I don't know, maybe there are parents who just let their kids sign up for accounts and don't even worry or whether or not that they're following, you know, YouTube's protocol on, you know, maybe they don't monitor them, maybe they don't go in and see, you know, what it is that they're watching <laughs> to make sure that they're on, you know, children's videos but that's why YouTube does ask those questions and so if you go on you see a video and it's got you know these kids that this is turned off for kids or whatever sometimes they'll think that it's kids content even if it's not and they'll just disable it and it may just be something in there that is feeding the algorithm that it's got kids content in it but and then they'll automatically, like, you know, disable whatever the comments. But you're, but on, on adult accounts, which is what mine is, you're, you're not going, kids should not be seeing my, my videos. They should not. Because I always make sure that I always say, no, it's not for kids. Always. Each and every video I do that. See, this is the video. No, it's not made for kids. No, no, no. <laughs> and that is because there was advocacy groups that were saying, hey, YouTube's off the hook, there's kids, you know, all kinds of stuff. And so it says, regardless of your location, you're legally required to comply with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, COPPA, and with other laws. You're required to tell us whether your videos are made for kids. And then it goes into what's a content made for kids. And so I always make sure that, no, this is not made for kids. So I don't have a second thought on what kids are going to think about this particular sim activity <laughs> on how my poodle in the sims game is, you know, breeding. That's not my concern at all. <laughs> and, um, but maybe people who are adults or grandparents and if you got your kids over and they're watching YouTube, maybe they're not familiar with those kinds of settings on YouTube. Make sure that if you do help your kids set up an account, you know, um, make sure that they are setting up with their age so that YouTube knows their age and they will feed them the appropriate videos that they think is appropriate for them. That's how it's supposed to work. So, yeah, that's it for this one and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye.